Fire in the hole, let's cook some fish. This one's for you, Sandra. Before we cook the fish, let's make this pineapple mango chutney. So stay tuned. All right, let's make this pineapple mango chutney first. What we're gonna do is cut up a pineapple, a couple of mangoes and a red onion and get them in this bowl. And through the miracle of video, I got my pineapple and mango and uh, red onion cut up into my chutney. Now what we're gonna do is add a splash of lemon juice, just a splash like that, and a splash of extra virgin olive oil, just a splash like that. We're gonna put some uh, red pepper flakes, about a teaspoon of red pepper flakes. Don't tell my old lady I put that in there. Just, uh, just be quiet, okay? Put some salt, I'm gonna salt it down a little bit. Some of the old cracked black pepper. Oh yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Now you're talking. And there you go. Mix that up real good. Yeah, that, that red pepper is what gives it the flavor, baby. You got that fruit is real sweet, you see. And that red pepper's got the heat. A little bit of heat, not much. Just enough to let you know that it's there. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? Couldn't you just eat that all by itself? Well, you can, and you will. That's my uh, pineapple mango chutney. So now let's get the cast iron skillet on the fire and uh, cook up some fish, so stay tuned. Okay, so my past cast iron pan is on the fire getting hot, and that thing's gotta get what I call stupid hot. There's hot, very hot, and stupid hot. That thing's got to get stupid hot. The way to test it is we got some uh, butter over here melting. We just take a little melted butter and throw in there. It's not quite hot enough yet. See, it's got to like skitter around the pan. It's got to be so hot, it's going to skitter around the pan. Meanwhile, we can uh, prep up a piece of fish. We get some melted butter and pour it on that fish like that. And then uh, use your favorite blackening spice. My favorite blackening spice is Paul Perdome's black and red fish magic. Now I could have used Tango Joe's uh, Cajun rub, that would work just as good. But I happen to like Paul Perdome's black and red fish magic. And you want to put that on there in a heavy coat, like that you see. And then we can uh, test our pan again for hotness. Almost there, it's almost there. When that, when that butter starts to skid around that pan, you'll know it's ready. And then we'll throw that fish in there and we'll coat it with the uh, uh, seasoning side down and let that cook. We'll put a little bit more melted butter on it, a little bit more of that Paul Perdome's black and red fish magic. And then we'll uh, flip it over, cook it on the other side a little bit and it'll be done. So stay tuned. Okay, so my pan is finally hot enough. So we're gonna throw that, a little bit more of that melted butter in the pan like that. Then we're gonna throw that fish in with that coating side down, like that. Pan wasn't quite hot enough. You see, it didn't really start to smoke up like it should. Put a little bit of melted butter on him, and some more pauper domes on the other side. There you go, like that. And because the pan's not really hot enough, he's not cooking really very fast. But it'll get there, it'll get there pretty soon. And we'll flip them over, and you'll see what it looks like on the other side. We'll get that other plate going here. Got a clean plate. Put my fish in. Yeah, he's getting there. You can tell, you can see on the edge of the fish that he's kind of turning white a little bit. I'm going to let him cook a little bit more. Then I'm going to flip him over. You can't really see that, can you? Here you go. How's that? That's a better view. He's getting a little white around the edges. Getting ready to flip them over. Blackened Mahi Mahi. And we got a special beer for today because we got a kind of a Hawaiian theme going here. We got a Hawaiian beer. Okay, so I'm gonna flip them over. And you see that beautiful blackened color? That's not, the meat's not black. It's the uh, spices that have separated them from the pan that are black. And we can throw a little bit more melted butter in there if we like. Black them up some more. 
Oh yeah, baby, he's looking pretty good. Looking pretty good, smoking like a blackened fish should. It only takes another minute or two on the other side and he's done. So I got a whole pile of fish to cook. So let me get that all cooked up and then we'll plate it up and I'll bring you back. We'll have some of that chutney and we'll drink a beer. So stay tuned. There's my plate with my blackened fish and my pineapple mango chutney. And uh, if I can find my bottle opener, we can get this going here. Where's my bottle opener? Come on now. Don't do this to me. Oh, there it is. Okay, never mind. Yeah, here's today's beer, and there's the rapidly defrosting Frosty Root Boy mug. And this is uh, India Pale Ale called Castaway from the Kona Brewing Company. Because we got kind of a kind of a Hawaiian theme going here with the pineapple mango chutney and the blackened mahi. And Kona Brewing Company is a good brewing company. I've had this before, I think. I'm not sure. Maybe I did. Maybe I didn't. Anyway, yeah, that's a nice IPA from the Castaway IPA from the Kona Brewing Company. Let's pour that into the mug the way we always do. That's beautiful. A beautiful India Pale Ale. Look at that. And you see how easy it is to blacken fish? You can blacken anything. You can blacken steak. You can blacken uh, ribs. You name it, you can blacken it. So let's take a sniff of my IPA. Ah, baby, does that smell good? You can smell the fruit flavors and the hops. Let's quaff the froth off it, Roll. What do you think, baby? Oh, that's so refreshing. It's wonderful. Let's take a taste of our blackened fish. I'm gonna eat this piece right here. How's that look? Not too shabby, huh, Sandra? What do you think? Can you eat this? Mmm. Get some of that pineapple mango chutney. I want a piece of mango. Some of that chutney, baby. Oh, that's so good. Mmm. That's excellent. Well, I really hooked it up this time. Mmm. That's so good. That fish is cooked perfectly. I love it. I love blackening fish. I love Paul Perdome's uh, seasoning blends. But if you want to try some Paul Perdome's and some Sang stir fry oil, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe. And I'll give away a bottle of each. I'll use the random comment picker to give away a bottle of each. That's good beer. Kona Brewing Company. So okay, leave me a comment. <clears throat> Excuse me, leave me a comment. Uh, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe. And I'll pick one happy winner to win a bottle of Sang Stir Fry Oil and a bottle of Chef Paul Perdome's Magic Seasoning. So, uh, you know what I always say, babies. If you like this crap, please subscribe. If you don't, go over and see Tango Joe. Excuse me. Tango Joe's channel needs a little bit of love. He needs more subscribers. So go see Tango Joe and subscribe to his channel. He's always cooking up something cool. And uh, as for us, you come back next week. We may not cook anything good, but this blackened fish is outstanding. But we may not cook anything good, but we will drink a beer. So come back next week and see what kind of beer I'm going to drink. Even if you don't like what I cook, you just want to see what I drink. Just want to watch me drink, right? Okay, babies. See you later.